Hello friends, once again welcome you to my channel. Till now we have covered uh, your two address and your uh, three address instructions for this numerical. So continuing with this same numerical, now we will evaluate the expression and put the result back into X using one address instructions, right? So see in this one, in this particular one, see, in case of your uh, two address, one thing I uh, forgot to mention before. See, in case of your uh, two address instruction, when we have written add R1, comma A or A, comma R1, does not matter, right? Order of the operands does not matter, but for a particular architecture, you need to follow one particular order, right? You need to follow one particular order. Either uh, this one is your destination or this one is your destination. But do not mix both of them together while solving a numerical. Right. Here what protocol we are following? Our first operand is in dual role and second operand, in, operand is source 2. So what I wanted to tell you that whenever I am performing a subtraction operation, in our case that R2, comma, v, R2 comma U we are going to do. Because this is in dual role. In dual role, we'll put the T and then we'll perform U, right? T value is there already in R2. So what we are performing? R2 minus content of memory location U. This we are performing. So this is how we'll write. What I wanted to tell here is, see, when I write sub R2 comma U, sorry, R2 comma U, huh? correct. So this we have done. We can also write like this also, sub U comma R2. This is also correct. But for one particular architecture, you need to follow one convention. So what matters is whatever is in dual role, that is your operand 2 and this is your operand 1. And dual role operand is your operations are performed, operand 2, operation, whatever, plus, minus, multiply, division, whatever operand 1. This you need to remember. Where you are writing does not matter. Right? Whatever is your destination, that destination is appearing as your operand 2. And always operations are performed operand 2, operation, operand 1. This you need to remember. And this is highly important when you are performing subtraction, division and all. Right? The reason is well understood. I have mentioned in my previous video. So now we will do it for one address instruction. So what I have to do? P plus Q. So load P and then load, sorry, not load. See, huh, one more thing. Load P, then you should not write load Q. Then what will happen? If I write load Q, that means what? P is already vanished. P is removed from the accumulator. Q is overwriting that value. That means you will not get P, right? So you never write load P, load Q, and then your addition. No, 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 never. So what I will write? Load P, then add Q. One address. So one of the operand is part of the instruction. This we have done. Where is the result? In the accumulator. How many accumulator you have? Only one. So please do take care of it. Then with this, I need to multiply R. So I can directly write MUL R. Because result is in accumulator. With that, I am multiplying R. So this part is in accumulator. This part is your source come destination. This will appear as one of the operand as well as result will be there in accumulator. So this is my operand 2. So operand 2, operation, operand 1. Operand 1 I will specify here. So what I will write? Div S. Understand now? Div S. So previous part is in accumulator. That is getting divided by S. Where is result? In accumulator. Right, this part result is in accumulator. But now we need to perform this. So to perform this, this part result, I need to store somewhere safely. What is safely here? Some memory location other than whatever is being used here. So I have written store temp. So whatever is done here, this part is stored in memory location temp. Done. After this, what I will do? What, uh, what I am going to do after this? I'm going to perform T minus U. So whom I'll put in accumulator? T. Because I'm going to perform T minus U. So T will be there in the accumulator. Load T. And then sub U. Correct? After this, 
we need to do the division so from whom i need to divide that is already there in accumulator so it is well excellent right so what i will do d b so from uh, this one is getting divided by b where is your result in accumulator so this part is in accumulator this part is in accumulator this part is in temporary tmp memory location what i need to do add so simply i can write add add temp i can easily do right after that where is your result in accumulator where you need to put in x so what is the instruction store store x so this is quite easy only please follow the rules remember the rules and just keep on following you will get the solution one more point here i would like to mention say it was not plus it was minus right subtraction then how i am going to do can i simply write here sub temp can i write like this sub temp sub sub temp no i cannot why i cannot why i cannot because whatever i am going to subtract from means this part should be there in accumulator and this part will be part of your operand so see what i have to do is this result i will store somewhere store some temporary t2 this i will do and then what i will do store t2 then i have to write load temp because already belu is there in temp that i need to get into accumulator and after that only what i can write sub t2 right that is correct right t2 and then store x so please be careful while you are doing your subtraction and your division operation right hope these examples are making the concepts clear then next i am coming to the next one that is simplest one that is what zero address so zero address instruction you remember right to move the values onto the stack we are using push and to do the operation only write the name of the operation there will not be any operands as part of your instruction so first i will do p plus q so p plus q means post p and then post q both the operands should be there on the stack then i can perform add easily add and then what i have to do what i have to do i have to multiply with r so simply what i will do push r not only this one ha huh? push r and then so right now on the stack p plus q is here and then you are pushing r then what you will do you will write mul when you write mul then what will happen when you write mul then p plus q multiplied by r will be there on the stack done now this you need to divide by s so this has to be there here at bottom and on top of that your devices should be there so push s so s is here now see this memory location is in dual role here two top values will be popped then result will be pushed back so this is in dual role so this has to be there here right whatever is in dual role has to be there so see what i am going to do is push as we have done and then what i will do only simply div because this part is already there on the bottom then s is there and then we will do div right now my uh, top of the stack is holding what p plus q then into r divided by s it is there then what i have to do t minus u so i'll push t then push u then push t push u then what what i will do i will be writing what sub operation sub operation so when you need to do t minus u t has to be pushed first then u so t minus u we have done the result is now here then what i'll do push b so stack will become like this push b right now stack is like this what i will do next this by this i have to do so it is correct so only d by will write so now the stack is holding this part this is vanished right this is there now what i have to do addition plus so plus i have to do right so simply i will write add and then pop x the result will be sent back to the memory location x right so hope this one is clear zero address instruction 
so what you need to remember is whenever you are doing a minus b a should be there on the step first and then b whenever you are doing a divided by b then you need to push a first and then b right you understand me now right so see suppose it was like this i will change here say it was b by t minus u then how it is going to work up to where we have done see we have done this div uh, push as div we have done then what we have done push t push u okay you have done uh, so see here i need to change the sequence what i will do push v i will do then i will do push t then what i will do push u whatever i am changing please do understand that push t push u then what i will do i will do sub right v is on the bottom right and now i will perform d and then the rest of the part that means you can do add and then pop x so this is how it is zero address instruction hope you are getting it and if you are liking my videos you are able to understand the topic please like my videos and please subscribe to my channel thank you in my next video i will be discussing risk instruction uh, solution to this particular numerical thank you